with our due respect, yeah? Go for it. Okay. You, large patients, you guys really need to dig in. Take it a deep breath for me, please. There you go. Okay. Cross? Okay. You can, I'm asking him, Chris, but can you ask patients, Chris? No. 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 So those of you that are going to come in like this, you're not. You're going to be there forever. Okay. You need to. Me personally, I go both sides. Okay. It's easier for me that way. I can. Okay. Bony landmark. There's Chris. Okay. I'm going to say, and there's ASIS shield. There you go. Don't go any higher, because you're probably going to get it over L5. Okay, and you don't want that, or S1, okay? On, on your collimated field, watch your toes go. Make sure you have, open it up big. Excuse me, Gilbert. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You're good, watch out, cool. Um, you're fine, you're fine, you're good. Um, you don't want to work with, this is probably what we're going to collimate to, right? The larger the patient is, guys, look at how small your collimated field looks. So therefore, I'm saying open it up big so that you can really see whether your patient's centered or not, okay, and see if he's off. He's off. You can see that it's off. And you may not be able to appreciate when it's so small. Yes? Okay. What should I be palpating for? Side side. Side side. Okay. Is he better? A little more. A little more. And then now I can close it up. Okay? So palpate press, go three fingers above. Okay, you can do that, right? And then close it up. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Questions? It's Again, the larger the patient, you, uh, the, the only thing I'm going to suggest is really dig in. Tell them, taking a deep breath, please. Sometimes patients will <laughs> tighten up their muscles, right? And those are going to be difficult for you to, to, to palpate. Okay, so it's important for them to relax. Okay, they have to relax. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult for you guys. Okay, question. Is his pelvis kind of curved to the right a little? Is he curved? Are you curved? I don't see him. Or I don't know if it's my angle. <laughs> but that matters too, right? He yeah, I don't think he aligned. is. Look at his feet. Oh, excuse me. His feet. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't think he's favoring a side. He's, if his arm was like this, if he was turning maybe, if he was like this, that he's turning up here. Okay? If this was, turn this leg in. Turn your left leg in for me. Something like this, yeah, definitely. He, you can see his spine starting to turn. But his foot's laying pretty flat, and that tells me, you know what, he's laying, and his arm was flat. Okay. But even a little bit like this can oblique him. So where should his arms be? You could place him on his side, this. Okay. Not this. This, or I, I generally just leave them on the side. Unless they're elderly. The elderly like to put this, their hands under their buttocks because they're so thin. Okay. Yes or no? Where does your marker go? I'm going to collimate. I'm not going to put my marker here because I have a collimate. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to put a right marker. Okay. This is his right side. For the lungs also right? We do lungs? No, we use lungs. Can you make sure you're not going to cut it off? Cut what off? The, uh, the marker. That's what I'm saying. Here's the center of my cassette. I'm not going to put it here because I know I'm collimating. I'm going to bring it in. I have it open to an eight and a half. Good, it won't cover anything, any of the anatomy? I don't believe it will. This is barely going to be shown. You might put it up now. Okay. Are we yes or no? Yes? Turn over on your left side for me, please. Hi. Uh, knees and ankles together. Bend your knees up for me. Good. See his back? He's very, very rotated. Now, some students do this. I can't, uh, that means nothing to me. Okay? So I literally have to really palpate and see how he's crooked. Yes? So now you've got to get underneath and slide them. Okay? No, you get underneath your patient and slide. 
Yeah? You don't push. You slide. Kind of guided. I've got some students that do this, and because they want to get this center, now they do this. <laughs> You're rotating your patient. Okay? Again, knees and ankles together. Make sure they bend them up. Start palpating the back. And make sure, again, I, I have to do this. What do you, you do, Mike, to ensure that they're lateral? I like to come from the back part. You can also see, like... Okay, he looks back here mm -hmm. to make sure that it's this. What jo um, James did this weekend was, in this week, when I was there, bring your knees all the way up to your chest. Some, yeah, some texts. And that gets some that. real flat. I liked it because he, the patient had a gown, and it made it tighter, and you can mm -hmm. really see... When they have the gown, feel free to not lift up the gown, right, but push the gown up against them. Okay, but um, you, you really have to assess this. Other RTs, what do you do to assess their backs perpendicular? Because those aren't, how do you ensure that when you're positioning? What do I you started, guys do? I start at the top of the shoulders. Um, and but do you palpate? Do you do this? What do you do? Um, well, or do you look or what No, no, because I'll fill for the shoulders, for the bony prominences right here, and I'll align those first. What bony uh, prominences? For your, your, uh, the clavicles or the shul the humerus? ACs? ACs, mostly, yeah. okay. So he palpates ACs and he makes sure that they're kind of on top of each other. Perpendicular to that imaginary okay. line down there and that will line this up. And then I'll go, I'll go actually go all the way down to the hips. Okay. And then the same thing, okay. yeah. So he palpates hips as well. Okay, whereas I, I just stop the small of the back. But I've got to, I literally have to palpate to make sure that my hand's this. Mike doesn't palpate, he looks. Okay, but these are very easy to end up with a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, he's rotated up here. And it's, it may not appear to you, but he is. He's rolling he's forward. You're going to end up with he's rotation. Bending? Okay. <clears throat> now, this, again, where's this line supposed to be? No, you're three inches above crest. Still, again, three inches above crest. Again, palpate. Right? On some patients, you're really going to have to dig in, guys. Bear with us, okay? So, it says hands on scapula and smaller back, right? Right, to be sure that your hand's perpendicular. Okay. Okay. Um, I think there. Okay, so this one goes three fingers still. And where's this one going to go? <clears throat> There's some texts that tell you, oh, just make sure you get a little bit of light back here. Right now, on your image, here's your image. That spine is way over here. You, you're going to miss. You're going to miss the body. Okay, because all of the... I'm going to say from here to here, again, I'll do respect. Soft tissue. Dig in, and the spinous process is probably about here. Okay, you want to palpate so that you, you... Again, you guys can assess this. You see what I'm speaking about? And again, that's a spinous process, right? Yeah, Danny, I'm going to take you back. You see what I'm talking All of yeah. this is soft tissue. So you've got to be careful about that. Sorry, Danny. But it's real. Listen, thank you, Danny, for, for being a patient, though. Okay? But this, okay. these. The crest is Can I go next? Jan I'm sorry. What I'm having students do is, is to recognize, you know what? His spinous process isn't really here. It's all soft tissue here. Mm -hmm. and some, because some techs will say, oh, just open it up and make sure you get a little light. Right. You're going to clip off. Because it curves down here. Well, no. His spine really is about right here. So you're clipping. You're going to clip off the bodies possibly. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because his spine really is probably more here. No, he said move it about three inches this way once you hit that center part, right? Say that again? He said to move it about across here, just move a little bit that way. What, no, I'm inches? saying not to. Well, not to. Not to. Do not do this. Because his spine right now is way over here. Okay. Okay? Is this is all soft it, tissue. Like align it with the neck, maybe, too? So where would you center it? Some people do that. So I just want to see how you center it. Okay. There. No, because right now, if this was your image, if this was your IR, his body of his spine is way here. Ah. Maybe his ear. If his head's 
Remember what we said. Feel the on him. You're not going to be able to feel the highest point of his crest. But remember what Mike said. What did he do? He fell in for the spinous process. But is it this? But it'd be hard because, like, if I have a smaller hand, it's not going to be the same as. But so imagine yeah, it then. Yeah. It's not here. It's really up here. Yeah. To feel. Right? Yeah. To feel the spinous process. So for it is a uh, ACEs two, and then do it that way. Yeah, ace, that's why I say find options. Okay. Yes or no? So on this one, we're going to collimate again. Okay. Is this... Go forward. Okay. So where do you think? Here's his ASIS, and then I can align it to knuckles. Okay. All of it, again, it's soft tissue, guys. Don't get afraid that this appears small, because down here it's still going to be open 8 by 14. Yes? Can you do the ASIS, yeah. AS. AS. flatten out your hand and align it to your knuckle. It, uh, on another patient where you can palpate the crest, feel the highest point of the crest, align it to the highest point of the crest. Okay? But again, what I want to let you guys, again, on him, it's not this, because his spot... His T spines here, his lumbar spines this. Okay? Yes or no? It's easier if you just remember just the highest point of the crest and then just. On some patients, but some patients you're not going to be able to find highest point of the crest. It's kind of difficult. So would you say the easiest one is the ASIS? ASIS, spinous process. Okay. Please explain the, this crosshair again. How do you. That's, what, that's, what, that's the one I was telling you. You need to find about two options. Okay, you can either find the highest point of the crest, and I can't real. I'm going to say maybe here. Okay. Okay, or ASIS, and then align it to the knuckles. Okay, what about the other this one? Is what three other one? That one's, this one doesn't change. That one, this one doesn't change for the AP, it doesn't change for the lateral, it doesn't change for the obliques. It's always going to be three, three fingers above the crest. It's this one that changes. Okay, so... I, ASIS and then right at the knuckles is the crosshair. Yes, just make sure that you straighten it out. Not do this because that might leave you short. Especially when you have females because of the pads that we have and what have you. Okay, you want to flatten it out. Okay, anything to add, guys? You put, oh, sorry. You put the collimated feet, oh. I'm good, I'm good. You put the collimated field a bit um, more anterior. Because his lumbar spine curves... Inward. Like this. Yeah, but then his knees are so far up, wouldn't that push the lumbar spine a bit? It's not going to change the curve. It's not going to change that. It's not going to straighten it out. It's not going to make his lumbar spine go like this. Okay? It, there's a natural curve in it. Okay? It's not going to... I see what you're saying. It's going to move it. No. It's not going to... Not move it. Yeah. This this line right here is going to be the, the the difficult part of it on the, it on the bigger patients. You, on the big patients. If you guys, cannot yeah. get the top of the crest... The top of the crest is actually aligned right here where the soft tissue begins uh, to go out from the body. That that point right there where it starts, that's actually almost the same reference point. So if you have to use it, that was another way that I was shown to use it. Use that where the arm begins, that little starting point right there. If you go down from here, it's almost right where the top of the crest is. So, right. Uh -huh.